There's growing pressure on MPs from their constituents to declare whether they will keep a 10% pay rise after the independent body responsible for setting MPs' pay decided to raise salaries. Yes, the cost to the taxpayer won't change, but Downing Street described the move as not appropriate. Our political correspondent, Chris Mason, is in Westminster. Morning to you, Chris. It all Morning. seems a bit awkward, this, doesn't it? It's really awkward and it's a bit bizarre, really, isn't it? Because when was the last time somebody, wa somebody wandered up to you and said, you know what, I'm really annoyed that I've been given a really big pay rise and yet MPs are falling over themselves to do just that. I could line up a queue, if you like, of MPs to come in and sit in this seat and start waving notes around saying, look, I'm going to drop this in a charity bucket. I'm going to go to my constituency and give this money away. That's what plenty of MPs are saying because they're conscious this doesn't look good. So the question is, what's the Prime Minister going to do? I will be paid the rate as an MP is paid. That's what uh, MPs should do, in my view. Uh, and uh, that's the right way to go about it. Not this. handing it back, giving it up, giving it to charity. Uh, I, make, give, I give money to charity, and this will obviously enable people to give more money to charity, but I think that's a private matter. I'm not quite sure we're any the wiser there about the Prime Minister's position, but it does give you some sense of just how awkward this is. This 10% pay rise from 67 to £74,000 a year. The particularly awkward twist in all of this is that after the expenses scandal of seven or eight years ago, the whole business of MPs' pay and perks was taken out of their hands and given to an independent body. And that's why uh, the, uh, this is difficult for MPs, because it's been arrived at by people uh, disconnected from them and they're just having to live with it, if you like. Not a bad thing to have to live with, is it? A 10% pay rise when it's 1% for many other people in the public sector. Now, the argument is made, as you've been saying, that this is cost neutral, to use the uh, terminology, because there are cuts to the pension provisions and to other perks as well. So that might just about tempt you not to throw toast at the television, but then perhaps not. Chris, thank you very much indeed. Schools admissions policies are...